So it seems like they really are just straight up releasing one DLC a month for this game, which is an insane pace and some of the fastest DLC releases I've ever seen in any video game ever. And I'm very surprised. But anyway, hello, hello, Anima Mortis and Frazzy. I hope things are going well today. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what that means. They're also Anima. Something that I gotta tell Fire you, emblem. by the way. Um, I I still had that little package to send to you kind of on the side for a little while now because I was having trouble with my 3D printer and I wanted to fix that. Um, well, it's it's working again. It's currently working in the corner over there, making like some lab materials for an upcoming Earth Science lab. So it's assembling like a wind direction sensor right now. Is the uh is the case. But once it's done making lab stuff, I can finally print out stuff that I was planning on printing for you, and then I can send out the thing where Bob. So apologies for the delays there, but it's working now. It is going. I might have mentioned that during the AC Origin stream. I mentioned that it was gonna get fixed soon, at least. Maybe I mentioned that it was already fixed. Um, but anyway, after recovering from being sick, my brain's a little bit frazzled. So if I'm repeating myself, you know, apologies, but it's it's going. We good. I was checking out ring stuff, I believe, here. Um, I've been continuing to work on the spreadsheet a little bit, adding more information. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. I have been able to play the other DLCs right as they came out. So it's currently March 25th, and the final DLC, which is the whole Fel Xenolog thing where Bob is coming out on the 5th of April, I believe it was. Potentially the 4th of April, depending on the time zone. And, well, I still have a decent bit to go before I even have the game beaten. You can just do the Fel Xenolog before beating the main game. Also, why is the game so quiet? Is it just because my own volume's kind of low? Maybe, but I think I usually have OBS to like here-ish. I think I adjusted it recently with the Persona 5 because its volume levels are a little bit different. Anyway, I still have only done like a small handful of the Divine Paralogs. We still have a decent smidge of story left to go. I still have one more DLC paralog. Um, so it's not like there's a massive, massive ton of the game left, but considering, you know, university semester gradually wrapping up plus crazy game schedule, it's like, yeah, I'm not beating the game before the final DLC releases. I'm just going to have to accept that I'm doing that a little bit later. But yeah, cool. I mean, you're always patient. But yeah, once that stuff is done printing there, you know, that'll be my next thing on the to-do list. Actually, maybe... The immediate next thing on the to-do list for that might be a small filament trash can thing or bob. So I stop having to move my room trash can here back and forth between this corner and the printer over there whenever I need to throw out like little loose bits of filament uh, just to make things a little bit more convenient. Um, and then after that, maybe. Heavily implied you should do the main game first. Expect unique dialogue from finishing the main game. Yeah, there might well be. I think that there's also... Uh, Serenus Force was mentioning that there's hard programmed into the game some other event triggers that can happen within the main game for the four hounds like other unique dialogue but it was unknown like what would trigger them or what they would be it's just programmed in that there's supposed to be some other character that can give unique dialogue when battling them which i assume are like the four winds or whatever they're called from the uh from the dlc the equivalents there so yeah okay yeah four wings there Hilarious, you remember what you wanted to say when tears of the kingdom comes out do you want the exclusive there's an exclusive wood board I certainly wouldn't mind by that insider GameStop workaround stuff there. That'd be hella cool. What did, but what does that even mean? Wood board? So let's see again, Zephyr would... Yeah. I assume that there will be things like that within both the main game and the... D well, no, there wouldn't be able to be within the DLC because you'd have to recruit her within... You can't recruit, you know, the evil one within the main game to fight in the DLC. The only one that you can recruit is Mavier. Spoilers there, I guess. I've shown my spreadsheets before. Speaking of, I can show a little smidge of stuff that I've worked on for my spreadsheets. I've just been adding more numbers to it, essentially. You know, I think most of my build plans are basically done. I'm going to wait until the final DLC comes out now to, uh, you know, kind of finalize plans and maybe make some plans for the new classes and stuff. But yeah, if I turn on display capture two here, what did I? Come on. The thing where Bob here. Um, engage weapons, I've started adding info of, like, maxing them out and stuff. Um, so that means I needed to expand this a bit to include, like, avoid dodge, dexterity, speed, defense, res, and then move stuff over, and then, like, crystal cost and stuff. So, my engage weapons page has a lot more numbers than it did the last time that I showed it. So, you know, there's that. I also previously had 
buy less weapons like to the side here for the extra ones but then i decided you know i'm just gonna expand it is what i'm gonna do so that's what i did i decided to do the same with tiki i'm gonna have to you know i've only just started working on this oh i pasted my going live notification happy saturday everyone i was trying to copy that image is what i was trying to do copy paste there we go so i'm gonna have to like do some fixing up there hope you enjoyed the little pace of the happy saturday everyone <laughs> there but you know so still quite a decent bit of work to do around here um i don't have icons yet for these ones i've been uh you know calculating some stuff out all kinds of stuff there but i think my builds are mostly done we'll see how it changes with the final dlc and stuff i'll just put this back on this monitor for now but for the most part my spreadsheet is just you know in terms of main game stuff is nearing completion just gonna wait for the uh final dlc to you know finish off adding things there um I'll show you discord it's the pre-order bonus sent it what have we here receive a free exclusive wooden plaque when you purchase legend of zelda tears of the kingdom game that's got to be one of the strangest pre-order bonuses i think i've ever seen but it, interesting <laughs> it's certainly a thing isn't it but yeah, I expect DLC Mafia to die. I guess that would make sense with a, you know, main game one still being alive and stuff. We know Mage Cannon and Enchanter are becoming player accessible. And apparently the uh, Mage Cannon here, the weapon for it might be a consumable thing. Like it might have durability is what it sounds like. It's a talk at GameStop. What about that being the pre-order bonus and stuff? But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what's going on with that there. And now we know that where that special axe and uh, lance come from they're the uh exclusive weapons of those new fell children characters this would be an important one here the corn one would be the case oh i guess when i switch layouts it'll just delete that message for some reason outplayed i guess arduous order i hope things are going well today but yeah um contributed to the final two with the weapon stats and i appreciate that there but yeah so in terms of i figure i'll just start out with like a paralog here which there's corns there's erica's um there's sigurds there's a leafs there's micaiah's there's roy's our boy there's celica i think the lowest level one was five so i may as well do them from lowest level to strongest and be leveling up some of my slightly weaker units so we should do sigurd's one next river of light and dark a place of significance emblem sigurd here the divine dragon will face an important trial sure let's do that he's a pretty good just turned 21 today well hey happy birthday in that case if you live in the states that's drinking age there we live in canada it's just 21 age <laughs> but hey happy birthday then he has a lot of enemies chad's bugged oh oh i guess it did weird things when i switched the layouts there sure let's do this one and hey well happy early birthday then coming right up i don't even know what my setup is right now what emblem rings i have on i'm just gonna have a look at my spreadsheet in like a hot second when we start this and see what stuff i need to put on who i might actually roughly remember off the top of my head though there's something unnatural about this place. You feel it as well? I've no explanation for it. Yet this place bears a great resemblance to Chalfi. Chalfi? I've never heard of it. Is it somewhere in your world? Correct. It is my homeland. I had once thought to lead a quiet life there in Chalfi, alongside my wife, Deirdre. What happened? Deirdre was kidnapped by followers of a dark faith. Her life was twisted to their desires. She was to aid in the resurrection of a dark god, heralding a new age of terror and destruction. What? That's awful. Ah. Uh, yet there was still light, still hope for our future. How so? I believe I shall share that part of the tale with you following the trial. Take up your weapon. For I am the trial that you shall face. Overcome this trial, and our bond will grow. My power will become yours. And we have to fight in this place that is like your homeland. There's significance to that. Correct. Now earn it. Show me that your skills are sufficient to surpass my own. I'll take you down, Sigurd. I'm giving this everything I have. And Sigurd definitely wouldn't be a half bad emblem to unlock the next highest bond level of, you know? Yeah, well, I'm forced a habit of turning on the doogie cam. Genealogy sure sounds like a 
little bit of a wild ride, even more so than Mr. Bones, you know? Definitely a little bit of a trip, it seems like. Everybody out. I can bring 12 for this one. Whoa! Also, you know, this is the lowest level one that I can do right now. So I wonder if I should bring some of my lower level units, although... That, yeah, that's a lot of guys. You have Meteor, because of course you do. <laughs> huh. You only have two weapons here? Where's your Rider's Bane, weirdo? It wouldn't make sense that you would unlock Rider's Bane at like lower levels or lower health bars because you'd probably unlock the spicier things with lower health bars. Probably one of the darkest stories this series told. Jeez. Look at this guy, he has money. This is a lot of guys. I'm definitely gonna need to bring Sor into a signed decoy and, uh, you know, kind of chill out with my unit. I mean, in terms of bringing my unit along, I know that I'm maxed out with Corrin right now and I wanna be building a bond with other units where I can and stuff. So weird to think the first five games took place in the same world considering how this series is known for anthology stories in multiple worlds. I guess that's, that's something that kind of developed later into the series in that case. Um, so in terms of who I'm bringing, what is the rough level of Dudos here? Level eight? It seems like appears to be the rough level of most of them. <laughs> level 30, but you're considered a special class, so you're basically level 10. Um, so let's see here. So my weaker units, first and foremost, I'm trying to give experience to and stuff we can uh, bring first and foremost. Is there anyone else that... Hmm. I was thinking about doing that crazy Rosado Crom build there. I would still like making you into a Mage Knight, but like you're not even promoted yet. I, it's probably not all that worth it to go for. I'm almost tempted to bring Rosado along. I might just end up bringing my whole main party because if I can bring 12, yeah, that brings me to here. Oh, but not quite everyone everyone if i'm you know factoring in linden nowadays so who's high level and doesn't need to come along i guess marin's like one of my highest level ones but also one of my biggest assets but could i get by without her a-ok -okay is the question i mean probably probably prove that i don't need my crutch i hope in terms of emblems, um, if a covert unit gets foreign, I could always assign decoy and then like the fog. I could just put down the fog with the covert unit and still assign decoy to my unit and then still achieve like the same purpose there. I think you're my only covert here. I thought I saw a second covert. That must have just been a. Uh, yeah, Alchrist. So maybe this battle, you're matched with Corn too. So that kind of sucks to suck. So maybe just assign decoy on super defensive units or still just try to dodge as best I can with my unit. Hopefully it doesn't come down to I need to go all out because I still wouldn't mind building up my bond where I can and stuff, you know? I definitely would not mind it. Also, this map is nowhere near as big as the original map from FE4. FE4 chapters were absolutely enormous. Oh. I mean, this is also like a lot more compact game, like smaller scale. Like even just looking at the 3DS games where you had movement of what, like five or six flyers would have like seven or eight or something like that. Whereas this game movement is either five or it's, no, it's either four or five, I believe. Um, or no, five or six for promoted units. You know, it's a lot smaller scale. It's not quite like heroes, but you know, decent bit more small scale here. Um, so Fogado. I mean, what are the things that I want him working towards? Let me check my thing, Bob, here. The main skills that I want him to get um, are Alacrity and Holdout. So I could have him start building a bond with Roy, is what I could do. Roy, ready. Holdout might seem a little bit, you know, silly on him, but I'm just trying to play into, you know, the fact that he's a little bit more enemy phase focused because of that to, uh, you know, Potentially eat a hit, retaliate, and get maybe more damage without retaliation is my reasoning behind Holdout, essentially. You know, um, more compact nature makes it a good entry to the series, very good starter game. Yeah, which is crazy for a game that, you know, is the most big crossover the series has ever seen, you know? 
Um, so yeah, we can do Roy's our boy there. Um, you're maxed out with Tiki now. Saline, I'm fairly certain, will want to hold out and... The thing that I have written down here is Magic Dex plus 5, but there's pro I might be able to go with something better, actually. Um, with my current knowledge and stuff, what were other things that I was thinking about putting on there? Because Magic Dex plus 5 is just like additional damage and additional chance to proc Ignis. Um, there's always Divine Pulse, which should give her a 100% hit rate on max stats because her luck is insane. Um, Draconic Hex could be good, Speed Dex... Yeah, yeah, we can just work to Magic Dex plus 5. A Magic Dex plus 5 was from Veronica, and you can't really work towards that right now. What was your status on Roy? You're maxed out uh, with Roy currently, so Saline can just, you know, get someone at the end. Doesn't really matter to. But you have so many more positive things to say than negative things, considering that before your release, you expected this game to be bad. Same, I was not expecting to like this game all that much, but I really like it. You know? Um... Sea doll, what were things that I was gonna work towards on you, Sea doll? Let's see here. Quality time in Geosphere. I mean, corn would be not half bad on you. I mean, yeah, you still have some stuff there, but just because I can put up ice walls and stuff. And uh, Geosphere from Tiki. Oh, you're maxed with Tiki. Nice. Corn, sure. I believe in Let's you. give you corn. How about in that case? Um, IV, Draconic Hex, you already have that in Canter, but, like, we're fighting Sigurd, so... I'm gonna just take off Camilla, and I'll give you something at the end. Doesn't really matter what there. All Kristen Edelgard. Yeah, so you're working towards something that you'd like right now, of Strength, Dex, plus 5, and Weapon Sync. So that would be good for you to level up. Linden and Ike. Yeah, you're working at something important there to unlock Wrath later down the line. Um, Diamant. I figured Strength Dex plus 5, which, you know, Hector can give there and hold out. Are you maxed out with Roy currently? Yeah, you are, anyway. Um, Hortensia, I want to give Staff Mastery and Rally Spectrum for just, like, some better thing Thingamabobs that play into what she's doing there. Um, Kaya, sure. Do so we can go ahead and do that in that case. Tamara, Lance Power 5, I'm fairly certain is from Sigurd, so I can't exactly go with that. And also Strength Defense plus 5, because, you know... Additional strength means you're hitting harder, and additional defense not only makes you more defensive when you're already kind of tanky, but it also increases your damage when you proc Sandstorm. So, like, and you already have Lance Power 2 from Sigurd, which is neat. But, yeah, so I'll just give you somebody at the end that helps me with the battle then. Um, and Alfred, I wanted to give Life Sphere and Holdout. Life Sphere, because he already has a thing Bob for uh, waiting, so Life Sphere would just give him even more benefit to waiting and preparing for enemy phase that way. And then hold out to play into, you know, enemy phase stuff that he is very clearly geared towards. He's basically like a weird great knight without the armor weakness, considering his personal skill is literally Pavai's slash Aegis rolled into one, which is pretty neat. If only his speed didn't suck. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, for the others, it's probably not too important who I give emblems or what emblems I give so I'll probably just give like some of my spicier ones so yeah these are all bonds that we can work towards here in fact I can always assign my unit an emblem ring last as well in case someone else really wants a Lin maybe speaking of Linden on the clip you uploaded showcase of Linden's crit potentially got a comment that came a very condescendingly talk about how easy and obvious this bill is and just thought to yourself you would not dignify this with a response I guess you know sometimes other people can come up with the same thing but you know, so <laughs> it literally says on his uh, on his kit that he gets extra crit with a lower weapon rank, which means that you can naturally make him into crit builds. You know, I don't I don't think that, you know, I don't think that there was any hidden part in the description or the video itself that was like, oh, there's a super secret exclusive build that only the elite one percent 3000 IQ fire emblem players are able to know of. It's like, eh? I, some people, I guess. Um, so in terms of emblem rings here, what are ones that I haven't assigned that I would like to bring? I definitely need to bring Soren to assign decoy. Um, and who would I, uh, I guess I can have Saline work towards doing stuff with Soren there. I kind of want to have her start doing stuff with Soren when, uh, you know, we actually get invincibility build going on one hand, you know? So I kind of want to do, because then she'll be using that plenty anyway. That's kind of why I think there. You're maxed out with Celica right now. Um, who... Did anyone else have mystical bonuses? Byleth gives additional magic stuff. Violet, 
Let's sure, go. you can get Byleth in that case. Who's gonna want Soren then? Um, you're at 10 right now. You know, this has proved not half bad before, especially with the, uh, you know, Draconic Hex and the Engage attack. But yeah, definitely seems rather odd Soren. there. Come on. So, I definitely gotta bring Tiki on someone. And Tiki brings up Defense and Luck without any level of Bond before that point. Um, and I know you definitely won't mind the defense and such. Tiki, let's go. And then Alfred can bring along. Then the bracelet bonds also hint which nations had the bracelet. Yeah, I've seen the bond conversation that say like, oh, in a previous world, your kingdom held my, uh, my thing revolved that I guess hints towards that. If I need to do big damage, this could potentially be important there. Maybe. And then we'd also get the cavalier bonus, you know. This is the only class or the only type that gives a bonus to twin strike, so you know. Erica, I'm honored. That can be nice. And then my unit can probably bring Lin along after all, Please, I'm thinking I'm here. here for you. you know. Is kind of what I'm thinking there. Um, let's see here. But yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like it. From what I can tell there. Um yeah, we can do something like this. My higher movement characters in the back and stuff. Sure. Something like that-ish. <laughs> Don't worry about that there. 87 hours. It's probably about 90 hours considering the times I've reset, you know. By just closing the game like that. The trial is thus. I probably should have just, Find you know. Way to me and claim victory. Lost, restart, and saved. And then it would show my hours more accurately. Yeah, I mean, same here. <laughs> if we're going to reach Sigurd, we'll need to cross that bridge. And if we can capture that fortress, we might be able to operate it. So let's go capture the Forsaken Fortress. There's a few Emblem Energy Recharge things there. For whatever reason, I had Fire Emblem Fates in my brain. I was totally expecting, like, the player phase thing or Bob of that game right in my face. Probably because I was playing a little bit of Fates on my Birthright file recently to record footage for my uh, Scarlet and Violet video essay, namely in the graphics comparison, you know. Tell me where. Yeah, for me, it's probably Xenoblade Chronicles and then Fire Emblem most likely second. But Fire Emblem, Pokemon, and Xenoblade were my big three for a long time. But nowadays, Pokemon is, uh, well... It's certainly a situation, you know. All right, well, big smackaroo, how about? Nice. And just out of curiosity, a 91% chance to crit. The music's really darn cool. Here, let's turn that up a little smidge, because that's really cool. Throwing up a couple notches in OBS there. Any customers? And then if we say, yeah, almost delete you. Almost here. Okay, maybe I turned it up a little bit too much. It gets pretty loud in actual battle. <laughs> Turn it back down to what it was before. Okay. And then I'll protect you. Yeah, we can just do this. Would I get extra bond by doing Flame Gambit? Would that set Diamond's tile on fire? I don't know. Fan Franchise hasn't will always be the Legend of Zelda. No! Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just the chain attack anyway. All Chris had 100% there. Legend of Zelda can definitely be pretty nice. Whose staff is a... Uh... Oh, it's Freeze. That could be a little bit grody. Potentially. You want to attack Crit Linden? What's our move? Like, do it. I dare you. Do what you think about that. I've got this. Sure, we can just chill here. Yes. Yeah, that's me with a few series there, like Animal Crossing, for example. So I'm I get that serious. feel of, you know, understanding why people like something, but not being able to get into it themselves. I mean, if I dance, it builds up bond as well. I'm fairly certain. Don't really need to put down random ice wall. Shall we? Yeah, we shall. Where to? Um, over here is where to. Oh, I could have built a bond for free with reposition. And with the sign decoy. I'm silly. Whatever. Whatever. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, probably Zelda and Metroidvania stuff, like, uh, Castlevania slash Metroid probably helped Soulsborne along as well. 
Oh, yikes! Good level up though. The sealed offense is pretty sucky. Uh yeah, that I agree there. Like this is straight up the nuttiest Fire Emblem RNG I've seen in any Fire Emblem game I've played. Yeah. It's kinda what it feels like. You know. Still can't believe I've missed a 99. And then on like the following stream, I missed a 98, I'm fairly certain. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for when I miss a 97. <laughs> you know, keep a close eye out. 